All right, so I'm gonna start this off by saying one thing. Gameigo hates their free-to-play population. They hate their customers in total, but their free-to-play population, they, they definitely hate the free-to-pay population. Um, and this is proven by the fact that they will update every single thing about Cash Shop daily, but they will ignore their players in Discord. They will ignore their players' cries in Discord about bugs, about binning constantly, about just all the issues going on in game and continue to update their cash shop. And from a conversation I had with one of the um, staff members, apparently they don't make as much from cash shop as we think, which doesn't make sense because people spend thousands of dollars on this game a day. That's shown by the number of slime token vendors that are sitting in um, in Rumen and in Elderin and in Uruga that are just constantly selling slime tokens. I don't know if those slime tokens are bought, but they're constantly selling them and they constantly seem to be restocked. So someone is buying these tokens and putting them in game. Aside from that, everyone is cash shopped up. Someone is buying cash shop, bro. This cash shop, like they're, they're not just not making money from cash shop, but I'm not going to reference that conversation anymore because I was asked not to post anything about that conversation um, in a video. So I'm going to respect that person's wishes for the most part. Now, for the last video that I put out, my ranting, um, people seem to take that as Fiesta is a horrible game. And Fiesta is not a horrible game. Fiesta is a great game. But the company behind Fiesta right now is a horrible company. Outspark was bad, but Gameigo somehow took what they created with all the cash shops that they had and decided, let's make it even worse. Let's drain these people for every single bit of money we can. And it's shown with this last little update for the Halloween event and this pumpkin pass situation that they didn't even put the pumpkin pass into the cash shops where you could buy it with your already owned cash shop. You had to spend an extra $9.99 directly from your credit card or your PayPal or whatever mode of purchase you use to get that pumpkin pass. So you couldn't even use money you already had saved up on your account. You had to buy it separately, which is ridiculous because like, what if the person, what if someone doesn't have the, just doesn't have it at that time? Like I have cash up on my account. I have it just sitting there cause I'm waiting for a sale for, um, for void, for the void, uh, pack or whatever. But like, I can't do anything with that besides wait for that. And any other sales on, um, transferable mounts that have two seater, which all I'm waiting for. Like, I have a ton of cash shops sitting on my account just waiting for a two-seater mount that's tradable. That's I, I literally just want, like, four or five of them. Just, just four or five. But that being said, like, aside from that, like, I don't want to put $9.99 into a pass that's for 30 days. And um, it only works for this one event. It only gives you two quests so you can make the quests so you can do the ticket collection faster. Like... They don't seem to understand that this is unreasonable or no, it's not even that they don't even understand. They just don't care because we voiced it multiple times in the discord. Like I've made the video, I've tagged them. I've posted on Twitter. Like I've posted on their Facebook. They know they just don't care. And that's kind of just like really fucked up when it comes down to it because it shows they don't care about their player base. They just want the money that people throw into the system. And if that's the case, I really feel like people should just stop throwing money into this game. But it's not going to happen because people like to punch down. And players that play Fiesta love to punch down on people, especially the ones that spend a ton of money. They want to look stronger than everybody else. They want to look better than everybody else. And they want to punch down when it comes to PvP. It's as simple as that. It, it's... And I'm, I want to go ahead and rant on the, the, the simplicity of Fiesta as a game in itself and that's going to kind of take over about a lot of that and most that's a whole other video in itself but this video is about game ego and how much they suck as a company their staff members don't talk as they do like why do you have a discord anyway why do you have a social media presence if you don't actually communicate to your community about the issues that matter and we get it if you if you can't speak on a subject because they tell you not to speak on a subject at least say that at least say you don't have the um the i don't know the 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 words or the rights to speak on that subject because it's not something you're you can speak about let us know that there are things that you can't do instead of just making it seem like you just don't fucking care because at this point we're all taking as you just don't care you don't care that we're DCing. You don't care that the KQs can't be finished. You don't care that we have pets that are 
15 days that we have to enhance with um with stones that we don't even know what the issue what what the status is of them when they run out if they disappear like do we pay just to enhance a pet to plus nine and then it disappears from our inventory when it runs out of the 15 day time limit like what if i can't what if i can't extend it does it just disappear from my inventory and i waste how much ever money i waste to enhance it to plus nine like does it like they just don't care bro like this company is actual trash it is garbage it is basura and I really, mm, I want Fiesta to do good, but this company is not the one to do it. It really is not. And they're going to continue to drive this game into the ground. And we, the players, are going to suffer for it. Because we want a decent game. And at this point, I'm just waiting for Throne and Liberty. I'm waiting for Throne and Liberty. I'm waiting for Blue Protocol. And I'm, I'm jumping ship completely. Because I'm hoping their Halloween events are going to be better than this bullshit. Like, y'all don't understand how much... I've played Halloween events on video games for the... Since I was 17 years old. I am 33 years old right now. Since I was 17 years old, I've been playing Fiesta. I've played Halloween events through many games. I played the Halloween events through Outspark. The Halloween events on Outspark did not suck this much. They did not suck the fun out of everything this much. They did not suck the fun out of life. It was conducive to the game. It matched what you had to do in the game. It didn't take you out of the game to go do something for 500 hours of your time. It didn't make you do a repetitive, stupid motion that had nothing to do with the actual point of the game. And I'm just like, this is what this game has come to because of Game Ego. They suck at decision making. And I don't know who who on what side, like if it's just the EU players that are like, yeah, this is a good idea. Like, I don't know if they're if they're the ones that are facilitating this crap, but they need to stop. <laughs> really? Like if the players on the EU servers are just like, yeah, this is great. We, we love we love spending more money on on bullshit. That doesn't matter. Like, nah, bro, this this ain't this ain't the vibe. I, I actually hate the, the the direction this game has gone because of this company. And this is just video of me clearing up the fact that I don't think Fiesta is a bad game. But Gamigo is a very shitty company. And I don't think people should waste their time or money with the with the company. If you want to play Fiesta, play it free to play as much as you can. Like I said, they do have free to play modes to do things like enhancing now. So you can enjoy the game from like a free to play spectrum and just don't try to rush it, because if you try to rush it, then you're going to definitely be tempted to spend money. And if you're trying to rush it to go, you know, do extravagant stuff, then be expected to spend money. But if you're just trying to enjoy the game and, like, relive your childhood and have the nostalgia feeling, play free to play. Take your time, farm things, enhance for free, and say, fuck you, game ego. Like, give them the middle fingers you play every day. That's the best you can do because they don't give a damn about you as a player. They don't give a damn about the rest of the community. And all they want is whatever is inside your wallets. Even if it's the fucking lint that's sitting in there. I don't carry cash, so you're gonna see lint in my wallet every day. <laughs> um But they want your cards. They want your they want your cards scanned every fucking time. They want your security code. <sighs> I'm I'm honestly just tired, bro. Like I I contemplated making this video and I contemplated using the, the conversation I had multiple times even though i was asked not to and i was like you know i'm just gonna respect their wishes because i'm not that person but i'm just like this is a stupid very stupid situation and they could have avoided all of this but they want to be greedy as fuck and we can't do anything about that as players like we just gotta wait till the game shuts down and another company hopefully buys it and either does better or does completely worse and with the case of most of these games, usually companies that pick up stuff like this, they usually do worse because they're continuing the line of um, business the previous company did. And they were like, oh, well, people paid for it when it was like this, so we might as well be able to capitalize on everything they did and make it even more. Which is what Gamigo did. And that's what they continue to do. And I hope they fail as a company like Outspark did. Not gonna lie. I really hope they fail as a company in the future. Like, I hope something happens, they fail as a company, they fall apart, and they lose control of every game they have. Because they are that shit of a company. And that's just how I feel. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And that was just another rant video about how much Game Ego sucks. And um, 
how much they hate their players. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I'll continue to make Fiesta content, like I said. Uh, but once Blue Cro Protocol and Throne of Liberty comes out and Chrono Odyssey, I am chunking the deuce and I am getting the fuck out of here. Because, and I know that's like probably like six, six months to almost a year out. But it's something, bro. It's, it's something to hope for. Because I, I can't do this. This Like, if Christmas comes around in this game and the Christmas event is just trash, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> no matter if there's nothing else to play, I'm out of here. Like, I will suffer just not playing anything at all. And just, like, go read books until the next game comes out. I love reading. But, um, yeah. I'm, I'm done. I... I I'm just going to wait and see what happens, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully, you guys stick around. If you don't, I mean, sad to say, but peace. It's been forever.